Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has advanced to the next level. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We are here in my room because we have another unboxing video to do. Now I've done two of these in the past. Remember when I told you I had three Hammond collection figures coming in the mail? The first one was the Giganotosaurus, the second one was the Therizinosaurus, and now there's only one more left. And I think in this box right here is where the T-Rex lays. So we're gonna open this bad boy and we're gonna see what happens. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're about to open the box. Let me get my pair of scissors so I can get to work. Here we go. I think that's good enough. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Here it is. Look at this. The T-Rex. This is the one I've been waiting for. Last but not least. And don't worry, I do plan on collecting more Hammond Collection figures in the future, but let's open this bad boy up and uh, I'll show you an, a close-up of the box. And here she is, the queen of Isla Nublar herself, Rexy, more specifically the one from 1993. And just look at it, the brown with the black stripes. This looks really cool in my opinion. This really captures Rexy in her prime during the Jurassic Park era. In Jurassic World, she looks slightly different. The stripes aren't as present or vibrant, and it's she's not as vibrant in color in Jurassic World, but in Jurassic Park, she's just, wow, really cool looking. I can't wait to get her out of the box. So let me go ahead and get her out of the box so we can take a good look at her. And here she is, out of the box, Rexy herself. Now let's take a good look at her. First of all, let's take a look at the head. So if we try to move the jaw, oh, oh, okay. This is a lot more stiff than the Giga, I imagine. The Giga isn't nearly as stiff as this. And notice that the tongue is kind of the same, and it's kind of got the, the rubbery, I'm not sure what you would call this part, but like the thing that opens the jaw and closes the jaw. The Giganotosaurus had the same problem. The arms, no, they're good enough. The arms are better. The T-Rex seems to have better arms, but the Giga has a better jaw, it looks like. And then you got the legs and whatever, and like, look at the feet. Those, those look really cool. Yeah, it looks really accurate to its Jurassic Park counterpart. You know, Rexy from Jurassic Park, the one that's in her prime, the young Rexy. Yeah, she she looks really cool, and you got the texture like the the stripes and the orange skin or brown. I think that's brown, you know. And it just looks really cool. She looks really cool in my opinion. Yeah, and like let's take a closer look at the arms. Yeah, they're kind of painted, the claws are painted, and uh, that's that's cool. I really wish that this thing here was like regular plastic rather than this real feel stuff. I mean, I kind of get what they were going for, but at the same time, and the eyes, I don't know how I feel about the eyes. They should have just went for painted eyes. I said this about the Giganotosaurus, but yeah, the eyes, I don't know. They. They could use some work. Maybe they wanted to give this guy a more realistic approach, but I don't know. So, yeah. And also the teeth. The teeth are pretty accurate. I think they're a lot sharper than the Giga's teeth. I feel like the T-Rex could win in a fight against this thing just because of its bite force alone. But that's just me, though. I, I don't know. But yeah, the that's the uh, Hammond Collection T-Rex. So... In the meantime, why don't I uh, get a couple things next to it and see the size comparison. So give me a second while I do that. All right, so here's the Hammond Collection T-Rex next to the Real Feel 93 Classic Rex. You know, Mattel's remake on the, uh, the Kenner Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, and you can already tell that this guy is definitely bigger. Yeah, it's like, I wanna see this guy compared to the Giga, so Give me a second while I bring out the Hammond Collection Giga. 
All right, so here's a size comparison with the Giga. And yeah, the Giga is slightly larger, which is which makes sense because Giganotosaurus is supposed to rival T-Rex in size and whatever. But yeah, the T-Rex is really cool. It's it's no laughing matter, you know? It's just but I do notice though, if you look at the feet, the T-Rex actually has larger feet for whatever reason. And yeah, as I suspected, the T-Rex also has sharper teeth. But the Giganotosaurus is just bigger overall. I think it's slightly longer even. Yeah, I, I think it is slightly longer. Like if we look at it through the side here, yeah, the Giga is definitely slightly longer and slightly taller as well. So let me uh, let me give them another pose so we can get a, a better size comparison of the two. Can you not follow over? All right, so here's another shot of the T-Rex and the Giganotosaurus about to square off with one another. The T-Rex definitely seems a lot wider than the Giga and a lot bulkier as well, while the Giga is more slim in structure. I guess that's because this is the Jurassic Park T-Rex, while this is Dominion's Giga, I would imagine. But yeah, overall, I like these two figures. These are my top two figures out there. So, all right, let's cut back when it's just the T-Rex again. So yeah, there's the Hammond Collection T-Rex for you. Overall, I give this figure a nine out of 10. It's got some flaws like a very stiff mouth. I forgot to check the articulation of the legs. They kind of move, yeah, yeah, they kind of, they're very flexible, you know. And the arms, you can't really do much with them, but it's the T-Rex. The T-Rex isn't known for having big arms like the Giga is. But anyway, yeah, that's the T-Rex for you. I'm just trying to hold it steady so it doesn't fall over. All right, that's the T-Rex for you. Overall, I give this figure a nine out of 10 just because it has some flaws and whatever. But yeah, that's gonna have to wrap it up for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to unbox more Hammond Collection figures. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.